Yo, it's time to check out Bungle Stray Dogs Season 5, Episode 9, and I'm not ready, man. I'm not ready to see what the heck's gonna happen next, because it's been absolutely crazy week in and week out ever since Season 4 started. It's just been, like, so hard to figure out what's gonna happen next. Some of it seems predictable, and then they throw you a curveball, right? Either way, if you can't tell, I'm excited, so fair warning, I'm probably gonna get a little loud. Let's jump in. Kuchi. Yo, is is Aya gonna survive this, bro? Somebody's gonna have to come and rescue her, man. Oh no. Please somebody, please tell me somebody got there and rescued this girl. What? Who is Oh it's Fukuchi! Oh that's right. And Taruku has him. Oh. Yeah. Oh, not if she doesn't do something first. Oh, oh, bro, this is so crazy, man. It's so high octane. It's not even funny, man. God, I love this series, dude. Was. Oh, flashback time. The many battlefields he's been on, dude. Who's on the bro? Please tell me it's not Kunikita and Tanazaki. Holding them hostage, man. Bro, I was literally about to say, I don't think it's going to matter, Rampo. This dude is, like, so preemptive, and he has a time ability. Like, it ain't going to matter, dude. Oh. Oh. oh, no. This show's crazy. It's one thing after another, man. The hunting dogs get the leg up. The detective agency gets the leg up. Theodore gets the leg up. It's so back and forth, man. Oh. What? <laughs> that would be a wear tiger's job. <laughs> what, the, what the heck, dude? So, does she know that Fukuchi's behind this? She said she learned the truth this morning. She is in on it now. Is the true goal for these two to fight each other? Oh. Yo! Bro, is it gonna be Fukuzawa Dono that stops this man? Bro, my man pulled out a knife and then used his ability to amplify it. Young Fukuchi and young Fukuzawa, dude? So this is the first time they met because he's been storming dojos. Yeah, definitely starting to sound like that's the case. That he was mad that Fukuzawa didn't go with him to the battlefield because <laughs> ah. <laughs> already starts, bro. Their friendship. And there it is. He flew off to go to war. Wow, I love that, dude. Fukuzawa. Oh, and he's going to deny him, bro. Okay. My man's a little butthurt, it seems like. Yeah, see, I love the imagery, bro, the symbolism. 
What is it, bro? They're really gonna do this to us and not let us know what is the objective. Is he trying to re rewrite history or something? What is his goal, dude? He's letting him go. I feel like she knows the truth, but she can't accept it. But she also can't go against Fukuchi because remember how much she looked up to him, right? But she's giving Atsushi the chance to leave and try to stop him. That's what it seems like to me, but... Bro! Oh, no. Oh, did he finally let him know that he's behind this? He did. He's threatening him to unlock the One Order now. So it's coming out. Oh, oh they say never meet your heroes, bro. So he is trying to rewrite history. I don't think it's revenge, bro. He thinks it's something beyond that. Is that really what it is? It's all for vengeance? Is he gonna die? Holy shit. What? He was wrong? Dude, what is it? Oh my God, the, the true objectives has this guy questioning if what they're doing is right and if they should be stopped. But there's people that can decide what's right. Right. Man, not if he's dead. She's doing this because she wants him to stop Fukuchi. She can't do it herself. These two nutcases, bro. Well, one of the nutcases. <laughs> the other one's apparently drowning. He ain't dead, dude. There ain't no way. There's no way. There's absolutely no way, dude. <laughs> he just wants a, a spectator, bro. <laughs> And that's usually Kuni Kita. Even out of a corpse, huh? Did we know that was his special ability? I think we knew that, which is why he worked at the casino, right? I see, bro. Yeah, man, you don't bite that hand, bro. They're not there, bro. They're not there, dude. <laughs> Yo, Desai, dude. He's too good, man. Ooh, because Fyodor did something, bro. Come on. These motherfuckers are playing 5D chess, bro. Oh, that's a time stop, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cat burglar. Oh, they killed her. Who killed her? What I say, dude? <laughs> no. By what? He stopped it, what, using gravity? Which means he predicted it, bro, because that's all this dude does is he's always like multiple steps ahead, dude. <laughs> okay. Wait, he's sickly, he said? Hmm. I wonder if he really is like dying slowly or something. Well, how? But, but, the, but, <laughs> he didn't. He didn't account for this. So, like, are they going to be able to get out of this? Because he did not account for it at all, dude. 
Otherwise, he wouldn't be so surprised that Fyodor and Chuya were able to escape. So, like, how are Dazai and Sigma going to get out of this, man? Wow. Bro. That was crazy. I can understand why people were looking forward to my reaction to this episode because, like, we had, we got Fukuzawa and Fukuichi's backstory. They knew each other for 20 years. We saw how they met each other. We saw that we kind of got, like, a look into Fukuichi's, like, mindset, but then he said that what's-his-name was wrong. It actually isn't a revenge plot. And then Atsushi's wondering if it's right to even try to stop them from doing what they're doing. So... Are they trying to, like, rewrite human history so war and, like, basically atrocities didn't happen? And if they rewrite human history, then that means that all those people that died uh, under Fukuchi's watch and also on the battlefield with him didn't die, right? I, I wonder if the sword and the page are going to be used in some way to make that happen because the page can rewrite reality, but can it really rewrite all of history, you know? So I wonder if that's really their goal. But at the same time, Atsushi was questioning if it was right to even stop them. So I feel like, you know, in some sense, what they're doing is somewhat noble, even though the methods to do so is wrong. Like, I cannot wait to learn the true objective, right? And then also Teruko, it seems like she know, well, she does know what's going on, but she's letting Atsushi leave because she doesn't agree with what her commander is doing, but she can't bring herself to go against him. That's what it seems like to me. It's been clear that they that she looks up to him, right? Like, I cannot wait to see what's going to happen next, man. But I would love to hear your thoughts on this episode. As always, thanks for watching and until next time.